I always felt that if you're going to spend a lot of money on a car, it should move you visually. Now I admit, this is a pretty shallow standard to place on something you only see right before you get into it and immediately after you get out of it. And that's only if you choose to take the proverbial glance back over your shoulder as you walk away. As I see it, a car stops being a necessity after Ford Focus prices. At Aston Martin prices, a car is more about how the car makes you feel. And no one feels good about a $170,000 ugly car. I may be from the South, but I'm a Southern city rat. This is why I live downtown, even though I could easily move 30 minutes outside of the city and get twice as much for my money. That being said, all cars don't visually interact with the energy of the city the same way. Some cars blend in and essentially disappear. Some clash with the city, like they'd rather be somewhere else. And then there are those cars, the ones that visually make love to the city. Like they built the city just so the car can drive through. The new Aston Martin Vantage is a car that makes love to the city. I mean, just look at it. I can tell Aston really tried to make this new Vantage this angry, aggressive, snarling beast of a vehicle visually. And yeah, it has lines, cuts, straights, and fenders everywhere. But instead of these elements making the Vantage look hyper aggressive, I think it just distracts from what I believe to be a very lustful silhouette. Thankfully, darker colors like black and even gray mute some of the harsh lines and allows for a more uniform silhouette that gives it the grace and elegance that the brand is known for while still being fresh, modern, and confident. When I'm in the presence of a woman I'm romantically involved with, I sometimes lightly run my hand over her face following the lines of her forehead, nose, and lips. It's my subconscious expression of affection and appreciation of the very subjective beauty I admire in her. And that's exactly what the taillights of the Vantage do with the back end of the car. The rear lights follow the lines of the tail end of the Vantage, as if to say, this is the most beautiful part of the car. And you know what? It is. The front end of the Vantage is a bit of an enigma. It hurts to say it, but could easily be mistaken for a Mazda Miata. Not that I have anything against the Miata, but I have everything against a $170,000 Miata. All things considered, the front end admittedly has grown on me. Interior intimacy isn't an actual saying, but it should be, because the interior of the Vantage has intimacy in spades. There really isn't a mathematical formula for what constitutes good interior intimacy. But if I had to explain it, I'd explain it like this. If you're in your car driving through downtown at night, while Girl from the music group Internet is playing, and you're thinking about anything other than that drunken night, swaying back and forth on a hammock, staring at the sky at that outdoor bar you went to that night with that one girl you met at the stoplight, then your car doesn't nearly have enough interior intimacy. Okay, that was rather specific, and a little unfair, but a car with great interior intimacy should evoke a pleasurable memory every time you're in it. The Vantage has tons of interior intimacy, and I think it's the jet fighter cockpit like center stack and close proximity to the passenger seat that does it. Now, don't confuse that with me saying the interior of the Vantage is small, because it's not. It's more the form and shape of the cabin than it is the size that gives the cabin its intimacy, or none at all. The glass button transmission and engine start add a communal element to the center stack, where putting the car in drive, park, or reverse is as easy for the passenger as it is for the driver. Some people think this is gimmicky, but I like it. The materials in the cabin also add to this so-called interior intimacy. Glass, leather, carbon fiber, and very little plastic to be exact. All things being said, the interior is more modern chic than traditional opulence. If I had to compare the interior to a hotel, it's more the penthouse at the W than the penthouse at the Ritz Carlton. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but there is such a thing as a car being too fast. 
at least too fast for living in a major metropolitan area with speed limits and a bunch of people who can't drive. The Vantage is as fast as a car needs to be in order to enjoy it. I think they call this usable speed. In sport mode, the Vantage is a pussycat, almost annoyingly so, because the throttle response is kind of lousy and the sound from the engine is too muted. Then again, if you're using a car as an everyday driver and you're stuck in rush hour traffic, sport mode is actually the way to go. Now don't get it twisted though, the Vantage sport mode is a lot of other cars most extreme modes. However, it's in the Sport Plus and Track mode where the Vantage turns into a snarling, maniacal beast of a car, performance-wise. It makes me wonder, what the hell is the V12 going to be like? The beautiful thing about the Vantage power is that it's incredibly approachable. Even with the 4-liter, 505-horsepower engine, it doesn't terrify you as much as it quickly satisfies any race car driving delusions of grandeur while making sure you don't kill yourself. Personally, I drove the Vantage in track mode 90% of the time and loved it. Especially the automotive sounds of flatulence which accompanied every gear change. All of this makes the Vantage an incredible everyday driver without ever becoming boring. The Vantage is a departure from the exhausting yet understandable association with the elegant bravado of the cool, calm, and collected James Bond. The Vantage is fun, playful, and approachable with a slightly rebellious spirit that is somewhat tamed by its everyday drivability. You don't wear a suit to drive the new Vantage. You throw on an overpriced Saint Laurent t-shirt, dark denim, and some off-white Nike exclusives. The Vantage is a car for the young of heart who want to drive the shit out of it and love every minute.